Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll be solving this problem from Pathfinder Check Your Understanding section of the Impulse and Momentum chapter. So let's read the problem statement. So we have a disc of mass 2 kg. It is connected with two identical discs, each of mass 1 kg. We have a disc of mass capital M that is connected with two identical discs, each of mass M, with the help of two light inextensible strings, each of length L. So initially the system rests on a frictionless horizontal floor and the centers of the disc lie in a straight line. Now the middle disc is projected along the floor with a velocity of 2 meters per second, perpendicular to the threads. So we have to find the tensile forces in the threads when the end discs are about to collide. So pause the video and do give this problem a try for three to five minutes and then come back later for the solution, okay? Now let's look at the situation in which these two masses are just about to collide. Now let's just say the velocity of the uppermost disc is some v. So by using the fact that the length of the string should remain constant, we know that if this point of the string moves up with the velocity of v, then this point should also move up with the same velocity of v. So both these discs will also have, will have the same velocity v. These balls will also have some approach velocity, let's call it v dash. So as there are clearly no external forces on the system, in this particular problem, we can say the momentum in the x direction and in the y direction should be conserved. So the initial momentum in the x direction uh, should be zero, which means finally also it should be zero. And for that, both these velocities must be the same, right? Because the masses of each of these discs is the same. So now what we can do is, now what we are going to do is conserve the momentum in the positive y direction. So initially only capital M, so the initial momentum uh, of the system is going to be capital MU. And finally, all these three masses are going to be mo moving with the same velocity. So finally, it's going to be capital M plus 2M times V. And from here, we can directly get the value of V. We also know for a fact that the, the total mechanical energy of the system has to be conserved. So the initial energy of the system is simply half MU squared. And finally, kinetic energy of the bigger mass is going to be half capital M V squared. And the kinetic energy of the two small masses, I'm going to write it as twice of half small m times. Now the speed of the smaller mass is going to be under root of v squared plus v dash squared, right? So this is going to be v squared plus v dash squared. Now we know all the values and now we can solve for v dash. After solving for v dash, you'll get the value of v dash as root 2 meters per second. Okay, so now if we take uh, the upper disk as our frame of reference, so with respect to this frame, these two small discs would only be performing circular motion, right? So we can get rid of this velocity v, okay? And now we also have to keep in mind one more thing, and that is this disc itself is a non-inertial frame of reference because it's going to have some acceleration, right? Because the net force on this disc is not zero, right? It's 2t, actually. It's going to be t plus t. So it's going to be 2t, right? So the acceleration let's call it as A, is going to be 2T divided by the mass of the upper disc, which is capital M. So we have to apply a pseudo force uh, whose magnitude is going to be minus MA on these two small discs. So this is going to be small m times the acceleration of the upper disc, which is 2T by capital M. All right. Now in the question, it is given that capital M is 2 kg and small m is 1 kg, which means this effectively will just turn out to be T. So I'm going to just write it as T. Okay. So now the question is almost done because this disc will now perform circular motion about this point. So the net force towards the center we can, is going to be T and that would be equal to the mass of the small disc, which is M, V dash square divided by the length of the string, which was given to be L. And after solving this, you'll get the value of the tensile force as 2 Newton, which was the required answer. So that's it for this video, guys. If you have any doubts, you can ask below in the comments and do like and subscribe to the channel if you want more such videos. And thanks for watching, guys.